have already learnt about modal verbs and we know that they are helping verbs that are used with the main verbs to express different meanings and intentions by the speaker. Modal verbs are used to express ability, possibility, permission, obligation, suggestion, necessity, compulsion, promise or request. Let us read this sentence. You should see a doctor. You have been coughing for a long time. The use of the modal verb should expresses an advice or a suggestion. So somebody is suggesting to this lady or is advising her that she has been coughing for a long time and so she should see a doctor. Somebody can also tell her, you must see a doctor, you have been coughing for a long time. The use of must here is also showing an advice or a suggestion. So what is the difference between the use of should and the use of must here? Should is used to show the right thing to do, whereas must is used to show what is necessary or it is a strong advice. So must is a stronger word than should when we give an advice. Now let us look at this sentence. Jim should wear a helmet while riding a bike. Compare it with this statement. You must watch the movie. It is very entertaining. And if we say you have to read school before 8 a.m. Should, must, have to are all different modal verbs which refer to an advice or show a suggestion. So what is the difference between these three? When we say should, we refer to something that was a right thing to do. When we say must, it is a strong advice or a strong recommendation. In this case, it is a strong recommendation. And when we use have to, we say that it is necessary to do something. So, Jim should wear a helmet while riding a bike is showing an advice or a suggestion and it is telling us the right thing to do. You must watch the movie. It is very entertaining. Must is also showing a suggestion but in this case it is a strong recommendation for a movie. You have to read school before 8 a.m. is telling us that it is necessary to do something. It is necessary to read school before 8 a.m. So should is referring to the personal feelings of the speaker. What the speaker feels is the right thing to do. Must is also referring to the personal feelings of the speaker. She is giving a strong recommendation to watch a movie. Whereas have to is showing us that it is necessary to do something almost as close to it being a rule. Should refers to the present of future tense. Must is also used in present of future tense and have to is used in all the tenses. You should remember that the use of modal verbs should must and have to express different meanings in the situation that they are used. Sometimes must can also refer to it being a rule just like have to. So remember that when you come across these modal verbs, you have to get the essence out of the sentence and then try to understand what it is trying to express.
you should take him to the hospital. Here should is expressing an advice or a suggestion. But if we say his condition has worsened, you should have taken him to the hospital. What does it mean? Here should and should have are expressing two different meanings. What are they? When we say you should take him to the hospital, should is referring to the right thing to do. But when we say his condition has worsened, you should have taken him to the hospital. Here should have is referring to the fact that it was the right thing to do, but it was not done. It should have been done. You should not have shouted at your younger sister. Here should not have is telling us something that was done in the past and was not the right thing to do. So should not have is also giving us an advice about something that was not the right thing to do in the past. Here should not is giving us an advice or a suggestion about something which should not be done. So should not is also giving us an advice or a suggestion. We can also say you must not talk while chewing your food. Must not is also giving us an advice or a suggestion. So what is the difference in the use of should not and must not when both are giving us suggestions or an advice? When we use should not, it refers to something that was the right thing to do. But when we use must not, it is giving us a strong advice. So the use of must not is stronger than the use of should not. When both are giving us advice, but must not is a stronger use than should not. We ought to stay indoors during the storm. Your ought to is also giving us an advice or a suggestion that we should stay indoors during the storm. So ought to is doing the same work as should. We ought to stay indoors during the storm. We should stay indoors during the storm. It is the right thing to do. So ought to is also giving us an advice just like should gives us. But if we say we ought not to stay outdoors during the storm. Here ought not to is also giving us an advice just like should not. So in this case, we should not stay outdoors during the storm. So ought to and ought not to are both used to give an advice, whereas ought not to is used to show something that should not be done. You must not tease the animals. Must not is showing us an advice. We can also say you ought not to tease the animals. Ought not to is also showing us an advice. So what is the difference between the use of must not and ought not to? Must not is showing us that it is prohibited to tease the animals. It is showing us prohibition to do something. Whereas ought not to is telling us that it is not right to do something. Just as should not tells us. So the use of must not is stronger than the use of ought not to. Let us now do this exercise. Fill in the blank with the appropriate model. You dash abide by the traffic rules. Can we say you can abide by the traffic rules? No. Can shows us the ability. 
can we say you could abide by the traffic rules no we cannot so the correct answer is you ought to abide by the traffic rules we are trying to say that you should abide by the traffic rules we are giving an advice or a suggestion when we use ought to so which modal verbs did we use to give an advice we used verbs like should must ought to should not ought not to to give advice depending on the use of the modal verbs they express different meanings so read the complete sentence to understand what the modal verb is trying to express we will soon learn about other modal verbs don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so learning at delta step is not just fun and easy it is also rewarding so register for free now